What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Back with another video in the garage with my new setup. I don't know if you guys can see, it's all bright and nice. I'm trying to be, you know, more and more professional. Uh, up the game a little bit here and there, but today's video is gonna be very exciting. Hopefully a lot of you guys could use this information uh, because this is how I do everything. And I'm just gonna share everything with you guys. I have actually made in the past about two videos about half a year ago, but I'm just gonna combine everything in one video and show you guys everything too. If you guys couldn't tell by the title and thumbnail, this video is gonna be about pretty much my mode of vlogging setup and me finally receiving the new helmet that I've been telling you guys about. And it's finally here. Let me show you the helmet first of all. Some of you might ask, why did you get another helmet? You have one of, well, arguably the best helmet on the market. I have the AGV Pista Double R Iridium Edition. Super nice, super expensive helmet. And I love that helmet, but there's two downfalls. Comfort and noise. It's a very loud helmet and it's not the most comfortable. Uh, and for what I do, just daily riding or riding a lot and to far places all the time, it is not the best. Now for everything else, protection, for the way how it cuts through the wind, all that stuff, it is the best helmet that I have tried. But I've had a Scorpion carbon helmet before. That's the one I crashed in, survived. Like the helmet was banged up all over and I was perfectly fine. So that was kind of like a sign for me. So, I decided to get another Scorpion and when I went on their channel, realized they have a new full carbon updated new helmet and decided let's try that one out. So without further ado, let's open her up. The bike is a little too close, I might need to back it up a little bit in the next video as I'm worried I'm gonna you know just <laughs> it's on a bike stand, it's on a pit bull bike stand, so it's not going anywhere. All right, we get the visor. I can't tell if this is the light smoke or clear, to be honest. I think this is the light smoke, which looks pretty clear to me. So we might have to get a darker visor. The AGV, gladly, the light smoke on the AGV looks not as clear, so actually it's not bad because that's what I use all the time. Since I used to use the dark visor, and for you guys that don't know, I crashed. And one of the main reasons is because I couldn't see where I was going. It was too dark, dark road, super dark visor. And that's one of the reasons I went down. So from now on, I just rock a light smoke visor just because so I can see, because I do ride at night a lot. So yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for this unboxing. Wait, I have another visor. And last but not least, I'm not sponsored. I paid full price for this helmet, so yeah, this is literally just me, a genuine review because I do like their helmets. And if Scorpion does see this, please sponsor me. That'd be cool. Ooh, ooh, this looks good. Oh yes, baby. Look at that. See, the AGV does have vents, but it doesn't have it like this. They're like rubber pieces that you can take off for weight savings, which I agree. It is one of the lightest helmets, like me carrying this versus my AGV. This feels as heavy as my AGV with the GoPro on, which is drastically heavier. So the fact that this is already this heavy, it's not the lightest helmet, you know, in comparison to the AGV. But this helmet is $600. Come on, guys, $600. For a full carbon fiber helmet that is pretty legit. The AGV on the other hand came up to be about like $1,700. So almost a third of the price for honestly, as I said, the previous version, which is the lesser version, survived very well in my high side crash. Helmet was all banked up. My head had nothing, no injuries, no concussions, nothing at all. So I can't even imagine how the new upgraded version is. Vents are not fake. So air goes in through here, comes out from back here. We got this nice spoiler in the back, which is a new design that I really like. Super, super clean. We have the fence in the front. Ooh, that actually looks cool. 
I like when the vents themselves like have a nice design. So if you rock this open, you know, looks badass. And voila. Finally, I'm so excited for this. So right when I bought it, all the way back in September, they actually ran out of stock and it was on back order and I just got it now. So like four, four, four-ish months later. Yeah, almost four months. So super crazy, but it's finally here. I've been riding without music for the past half a year because I didn't want to put a cardo on my HEV. Yeah, it's going to be nice. I'm going to have to buy a new cardo. I gave mine to a friend. He's using it and I want to buy the all black new cardo just because so to match with the vibe and everything. But I'm so excited to ride with music at last. Uh, another great thing about this helmet that I want to mention, one of the main things, the pads are one of the most comfortable pads in any helmet. But the coolest thing is this. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to show you guys. This is actually air for your pads. So what you do when you're trying to go high speeds or any of that stuff, you just bump it up. And the cheek pads inflate and it makes it tighter. So you don't get that wiggle when you're doing high speeds. The helmet doesn't like smush your face or any of that stuff. You just press this silver button right here next to it. And you guys can hear that it releases all the air. So it's back to its kind of like normal form. Let's see what they sent me right here. Cause they sent me this and I did buy an extra visor, light smoke. Oh, I think they sent me a dark smoke with the helmet. So perfect. Oh no, this is definitely light smoke. This versus this, you can totally see the difference. Let's take it off. It has this locking mechanism that I actually forgot how to use. Oh, you just kind of like pull on it. See like, you see how it's like a little wobbly. It's not as premium as AGV, but again, you are paying a third of the price, so. And this is the clear. If you do ride a lot during the day and you want to see, just at least get this one because it does look way, way better than the clear one. <laughs> yes. Looking pretty good. Let's try it on for the first time. Has that brand new helmet smell. Pretty tight, but even though it's super tight and new, it's so much more comfortable than the AGV. I can already tell, but it's supposed to be tight in the start, by the way, because helmets do end up breaking in, and when it breaks in, it's gonna be too loose. The good news, because you have that air pump thing feature on this helmet. This helmet is almost never gonna be too loose, which is the best thing because when the helmets are loose, they do get annoying. You get that wiggle, which you can see this helmet is moving my entire head right now, but it is new, it's not broken in yet. So yeah. Now that we are done revealing the helmet, I'm gonna show you guys chin mounts. What we're gonna do is set up my GoPro setup on this helmet so I can take it out and film content. They make specific chin mounts for every single helmet. They send you this attachment to it, which you can attach to your helmet as a safety feature. So in case this comes loose, it'll be dangling through this kind of like string. But I personally don't use it if you want to you can see the beautiful thing because they make it specifically for this helmet you know it fits perfectly so it's gonna sit just like that now what we need to do they send you alcohol wipes and by the way if you wanted to grab some chin mounts use the link in the description down below you'll get 10 percent off and also i have links to like all my gear and cameras and equipment so if you want any of the stuff that i personally use to make my videos just check out the link down below and most of the time you get either discounts or something out of it. All right, because you do not want any dirt to be on the surface when you stick it. I wouldn't use a heat gun, but I'm going to just because it's faster, but I would recommend a hair dryer because this can get like too hot, you know what I mean? And burn this material. So I'm gonna put it on the low setting, not the high setting and just heat it up. And this allows it to stick much better, which makes it more of a permanent mount, you know what I mean? 
it would be like extremely hard to take off. Also, don't just keep it constant, kind of like spread the heat around the whole area. I think that is good enough. And now the fitment. Perfect, line it up and then kind of just hold it down. You're supposed to also let it like uh, stick over a period of time, but I haven't before. Uh, I'm not sure how long you're supposed to let it kind of, cause you know, you want the glue and the 3M to be firm on this helmet, but I usually give it like about, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour. Also the most important thing in my opinion is to make sure that it's straight because you don't want your footage to be crooked. Actually, if it's slightly crooked, which is hard to miss to make it like super crooked because it's a very straightforward fit. Uh, if it's slightly crooked, I doubt anyone's gonna notice and you can adjust that probably with your GoPro angle slightly. I try to be a perfectionist, so I'm trying to make this as perfect as possible. But it's the mic is pretty simple. So pretty much after you're done doing this, you let the glue take its place and stick properly you have your gopro setup which i'm going to talk about right now uh so pretty much this is just a case where it has a holding for your gopro adapter because you do need that i use a gopro hero 7 black uh i haven't had a reason to get one of the new ones i've heard that the new ones crash often that's why i haven't upgraded but this is what i use i might upgrade in the future i'm not sure yet so yeah i have the case with the gopro hero 7 which comes with a mic adapter because you it doesn't have a mic jack, so you do need this mic adapter. Chin mouse do send you an attachment, but I already have the GoPro OEM attachment hooked up here. So what I do is just hook it up and I'm pretty much ready to moto vlog. Well, not ready ready, but almost ready because you do need to get your mic, set it up. The mic is pretty simple. It's literally just a regular mic. So you plug it here and then you hide it somewhere right here by your mouth under the cheek pads and kind of just feed the wires down there, hide them behind the cheek pads and you're pretty much set. And that is your moto vlogging helmet setup. Uh, now, let me talk real quick about my GoPro settings since I do get questions asking about them. Uh, so as you guys know, I record in and upload in 4K, uh, but I don't actually record using 4K. And the reason is because if you use 4K, it's actually going to drain your storage and your battery. So what I do is I actually record 2.7K, 60 frames per second. Usually you want to do like 30 frames per second, but because we moto vlog and we're moving at like higher speeds, we need like slightly better. So I don't do 30, which looks more natural, but 60, I feel like gives you a better flow, if that makes sense. You know, it's cleaner. Uh, so I personally use 60 frames per second. So yeah, film 2.7K uh, and then when you render and edit your files, export it as 4K, which kind of boosts the quality even more. So it looks almost just like 4K. I don't think anyone that watches my videos on 4K have noticed that it's not 4K. Maybe if you're like a professional, I have such a good eye, but yeah. That is pretty much it for this video. I am excited to use this helmet and ride with it. Uh, I'll probably make a video, you know, talking about it. I'll mention it in the next video that I post, uh, how I like this helmet, because it is a slightly different than the last Scorpion one I have, but this is supposed to be the better upgraded version. So it should be really good. I'm really excited to use it and tell you guys about it. If you did enjoy this and me sharing all my secret secrets for the moto vlogging setup, please like the video, subscribe, share, and let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below and I'll try to answer them in this video so other people would know. Uh, everything else for the settings, I pretty much have it as, you know, auto because I ride during day and night. If you want to be really professional, you can change those settings based on the, pretty much if it's sunny or if it's cloudy and all that. So I just have it on auto and it gives me somewhat of as good as possible without me doing as much work changing the settings. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed and hope that was helpful for all the people that are trying to start making these videos. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and share. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, ride safe.